And hello folks, it is I Kamikaze here to bring you a quick tutorial on how to fix the Unreal CEF sub process not being able to be shut down and access is denied because it opens up so many instances after you close your game of Valorant or probably any game. The problem is, is your antivirus is, is what's causing it. And so I can show you for a vast on how to find the exception list and add it to there so it no longer happens. And then at the end of this video, I will show you it working and not working at the same time. So that way you can see that this is a working solution. Um, if you have an uh, antivirus that is different than Avast, unfortunately, you're going to have to look up how to add files or folders to the exception list. I don't know how to help you on that one, sadly. So I will show you with Avast and show you that that is the problem. So first of all, where it's located is under Explore, File Shield. You open the File Shield and go to Exceptions. Here I already have it added, just for the fact of what we're going to be doing, because I have Valorant already loaded up. You would add the exception, browse, and go to the folder. For me, my default install was this. C Drive, Write Games, Valorant, Live Engine, Binaries, Win64. That is where this folder is that contains the file. So you should be able to find it wherever you installed Valorant. And I'll put this pathway in the description below. So now to show you that that is the solution. Adding that, you should be able to restart your computer and be able to open and close Valorant without it causing that issue anymore. And now, that is that I'm going to, well, I'm going to show you that by, I'm not going to have that problem anymore. So you can see that the Unreal CEF process is not open on my PC. Alphabetically, we got the Unreal CEF process because that's what's currently running in the game. And now, once this is done, leaving where I was, I'm going to Alt F4. I got kicked for inactivity in the range. That's what I don't understand. Why would you get kicked out for inactivity in the range? The range should be something that you could do on your own thing. But let me just go Alt F4. And now the Unreal sub process is gone. So it doesn't duplicate, and it doesn't stay open, and it does not use your processor. But now, we're going to go to Avast, and I'm going to remove that exception. And I may, may or may not cut after I restart my PC, because if I have to restart my PC to demonstrate it coming back on, then I will. But now that it's removed, whoops, I did remove that, right? Short-term memory. Exceptions. It is removed. Now I will start up Valorant again, and once Valorant starts, I will close it, and then we will have that stupid file pop back up, because it's annoying, and I don't know why it does it. But this is the solution. It is your antivirus. Proof in fact. And now that Valorant boots up, we're going to boot it down. Forcefully. And now that that's happened, we open up here, and notice we have two Unreal CEF sub-processes open. And those processes are, in fact, eating up the processor. So this shows you that that is the problem. Downside, I now have to restart my PC because I can't close those otherwise. But it is because you need to add it to the exception list of your antivirus. So if this helped you, I hope it does. Uh, please remember to do the things that make me happy camper. I hope that you don't have any more problems in the future. And uh, do definitely comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to try and answer them as quickly and as accurately as I possibly can. So I thank you for watching. Toodles.